The archive setup in master data information is done directly on the information code list or from the archive table if you enter that one. So if you enter information code list, you can find archive setup and in the archive setup, you can determine which information code you want to archive and what you would like to archive. For instance, the value field when that is changed, the information value field or description field can be changed in here and on which information code. And of course, this would apply to everywhere you use the master data information. So it's on customers, vendors, items, etc. This way you set up which master day you would like to track when somebody changes it. And it's not just for tracking purposes, but also if you want to store all the QC, for instance, quality control parameters that you want to store or you want to add history, maybe to serial numbers, Let's say we have this computer and it's not just for having the history, it's to be able to see how many times was this assigned, who owned this computer, for instance. Uh, so my assigned date, when I look into the archived entry from here, I can see all the history, when was it assigned to whom, uh, or when was it assigned and who made these changes in Business Info that created the archived entry. And likewise, if I assign who the employee was that I assigned it to, when was it allocated, and so on. So you can set up everything you want to archive uh, and then measure it directly in here. And from this list in the archived entry, you can also, if you have the permission, go into the, first of all, archive setup that we saw before. And you can also from here enter the archive entries. So if, if somebody changed stuff or did it wrong, you can actually open the archive entry here and change them manually and here you can remove the filter and see all the archived entries if you want to change that and of course you should handle this with a correct user permission setup.